Ali London, Ali, we've had you on the show a number of times. This is the first time in person. Great to see you. Great to see you both Live in person. Live in person. Finally. <laughs> so listen, we're, we're looking at this craziness in Austin. And again, you have an event um, where you're, we, are, we have people that are trying to protect women and maybe give some education on the trans issue. And here you're called fascist. What's going on here? I mean, this is just an event for women to speak. And I actually know the organizer, Michelle Evans, and she had such a difficult time putting this event together uh. because originally it was on Eventbrite and Eventbrite canceled it, saying it was transphobic and went against their policies. And this is just a group of women. You also had a number of detransitioners, Prisha Mosley, who is uh, well known in the US. You know, they were speaking out and saying, this is not fair to do this to children. A simple conversation with common sense, yet these trans activists turned up they had weapons they were trying to intimidate these women they were screaming in their faces and that's just never going to win their argument but I think the thing is they don't have an argument on why they think they should transition children so they just scream in people's faces so it's very upsetting to see but you know my hats off to these women and these detransition that stood their ground to fight for women's rights ironically mm. they call people fascist but what the radical trans activists and i'm being i'm being specific but what they are are fascists because they try to control language and control thought and change the meaning of words and actually destroy the meaning of words when you talk about gender affirming care well you wouldn't, if, if that's all it was, was affirmation, you wouldn't need pharmaceuticals and drugs and surgery if it just was affirmation of a gender. And I'm paraphrasing what James Freeman said just last week. I mean, it's very ironic when they call people fascists, like women that are saying, we don't want biological males in our spaces because we don't feel safe or in sports. So, you know, the fact that they use this terminology is to try and shut down arguments. Because look, if you don't have a platform and let's say you're a woman and you're scared of losing your job and you say, I don't feel comfortable with a, a biological male in my space, you are then labeled a fascist. Immediately your life falls apart and these yeah. people cancel you. So they really push this cancel culture. And I think we need to fight against that. That's why it's so important we have women, detransitions and every single person across America should be speaking up on these issues, parents, teachers, because it's affecting millions of young people. And it, it's not right that we're doing this to kids, that yeah. hormones, puberty blockers and surgeries are being pushed on kids that have no concept of what this will uh, do to their later life. And these radicals, they're the minority, mm -hmm. but they're effective in silencing the majority. It's, it's, it's really wild. But I want to get to this because you have a new book. It's called Gender Madness. It's available tomorrow. Ali, tell us about the book. What are we going to find? What are we going to learn in your new book, which you have right there, which we can't wait to read? <laughs> yeah, so these two are for you. So basically, this book is exposing the gender ideology industry, how children are being indoctrinated, how school systems are pushing this on kids, even in kindergarten, and how the medical establishment is uh, pushing these vulnerabilities on kids and you know, misdiagnosing a lot of kids. There are kids that are six times more likely to be autistic that are being diagnosed with gender dysphoria. So we see a lot of misdiagnosis, and the, these doctors seem to prescribe you know puberty blockers very willingly without even checking these kids mental health and maybe they're going through something else so the book is really discussing these issues and also the role that TikTok and social media has played in pushing these trends because we've noticed that a massive uptick in children transitioning since TikTok uh, came to the US around 2018 and you know that is one of the driving factors so it's discussing all of that and more and you know, I think this is a book that every single parent needs to read because it's really helping educate them of the signs to look out for you know how are your children being indoctrinated how can you have that conversation with your children in a sensitive way that you're able to help that child navigate through these difficulties you have a quick uh, excerpt you're going to read for us yes so um my detransition process has been like a rebirth i was being reborn as myself the old me the one who cared more about helping others and making the world a better place. Not the vacuous Ollie who was obsessed with looking at his own reflection and morphing into someone he was not. Mm. I can't wait to read it, Ollie. And it's going in the right direction, meaning the one that will protect children overseas in Europe and where you're from, just not here yet. 
Right. I mean, the U.S. is where it's all happening right now. You have 15-year-olds having double mastectomies. The U.K. has recently banned puberty blockers for under-16s. So we're seeing progress in Europe. Finland and Sweden have changed course. They were once pioneers in gender transitioning. They have now said, after researching this over a long period of time, it's not right to prescribe these things to kids. So we're seeing progress, but the U.S. really needs to wake up and you know ban gender-affirming care in every single state. And what's important is uh, the signs that you say parents can look out for, what they can see in their child and get in uh, vault before it's too late with the child. So, Ali, London, great to see you. Thanks for joining us Thank on you, Saturday. Thank you, Sean. Great to see you. Appreciate it. Come back to the States.